Alright guys, I'm going to do this for the first time ever. I'm going to do a Monday Night Raw preview for the first time. And I feel like I want to do this because I want to talk about the stuff that might happen tonight. The stuff that we know that's going to happen. And the stuff that we could predict on what's going to happen. So, without further ado, man. Hey, let's begin this Monday Night Raw preview for the first time ever. We some southern boys with the promise strength. Ain't nobody man enough to feel the pain. Okay, so... I've been a huge, a big advocate, a big advocate for this fucking feud to end. And I'm being dead serious, alright? Dead ass. Dead ass serious. This needs to end. And if you don't understand, I'm gonna tell you again and again and again and again until you get it through your fucking head. Alright? I get it. Opinions matter. I understand. If you have an opinion and you still love this feud, I don't know how the fuck you do, then just tell me in the comments that you still like this feud. But you gotta tell me you wanna see it come to an end too. You can't just tell me you wanna go on for forever and ever and ever and ever. Right? I mean, it, you just can't. I mean, I wanted Zayn and Owens to fight for the Universal title now because it still makes sense. Zayn has not got over the fact that Kevin Owens has gained success over him. Right? I mean, yes, yeah, they, they can still use the story of, you know, many, like 12 years or 15 years and Sami Zayn being at Kevin Owens' wedding and then Kevin Owens, uh, seeing Kevin Owens' son and all that stuff, traveling the world, coming to WWE before Kevin Owens, Kevin Owens being upset of, over that. Shit like that. You know, his story, the entire NXT thing, and then, yeah. They can still use that story, plus Kevin Owens gained success over Sami Zayn while Zayn has been doing nothing, and it's true, he has done nothing on Raw. Right? I want them, I would rather have, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about this after. Anyways, this feud needs to end for good. For good, this needs, this needs to be done. I can't take it anymore. Since the Royal Rumble, when Sasha came back to, to make a statement saying that she's going after the, the, the title at the time against Charlotte, fighting Naomi and uh, Tamina with Becky Lynch and Fastlane in a tag team match, which they won, going on to WrestleMania in a triple threat, she lost, Charlotte won the women's title, and after that she went away for a month. She come back, she fighting Dana Brooke and Charlotte with Bayley at Battleground, and then won the title on Monday Night Raw the day after, lost the title to SummerSlam. Had a triple threat match. She lost to Charlotte. And after having the, the championship match. The Monday Night Raw two weeks after. So, uh, the Clash of Champions. Had the rematch at Hell in the Cell. Inside Hell in the Cell. In the main event. Lost the title then. In her hometown. And now she's getting a title shot tonight. So. This needs to end. I can't take this anymore. This needs to end. Seriously. It's over. How do you like this feud? Anymore? I, I still don't. I question. I question. I question your interest. Because I don't know how the fuck you're just going to sit there and be like, This is a good ass feud, you know. It's so... It, it, it's so personal. No, it's not. I'm the boss. I'm the queen. I'm... I'm Ric Flair's daughter. I dropped my father. Uh, Snoop Dogg's cousin. Blah, blah, blah. This and that. She had no nothing has been done. This needs to end tonight. And if they did if they give Sasha Banks the championship, I swear to God, I will rant for 10 to 15 minutes in my raw review later on tonight. I swear to God, I will end. I will end. I will end these two. And Monday Night Raw Women's Division will be dead to me. Dead. Dead, dead, dead. That's all I'm going to say. This has got to come to an end. We can't have this anymore. Like, I, I seriously can't take this. It's just, it sucks the fun. You know, that's what they're doing. They suck the fun when, once they have something good, and then they instantly ruin it. I just can't take it anymore. 
Sasha Banks, Charlotte, great wrestlers, no doubt, but the feud needs to end, and that's what sucks when you have a short roster in the women's division. It really does suck. It does suck a lot. I hope Sasha does not get the title. I hope she doesn't. And I hope they don't get their main event slot either. They don't deserve it, in my opinion, because we already have, we already went through that. We already, we, we already did that. They main evented the pay per view. They main evented Raw. So, twenty sixteen, a odd year that this shit would happen. Pro- that uh, when they main event Hell in the Cell, it put the exclamation point, saying that the women can main event shows. So that needs to end tonight, and I hope it does. The New Day. I am sick and tired of the fucking New Day. And this is a fact. And it's not like bandwagon shit. It's not. And never has been. I'll tell you like this. I gave the New Day a chance. Because I'm like, you know what? This is a new group. Never seen these guys. You know, Xavier Wood was doing nothing. Kofi Kingston doing nothing. But still doing the Jamaican character. And Biggie. Was acting like a preacher at one point. I, I I don't understand it, right? So they were doing nothing, and then they debut on SmackDown, and they had that one great match with Cesaro and Kid and Adam Rose on the main event, and then they did the same thing at the Royal Rumble pre-show, and then after that, I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna chill on the new day, and then later on, they got annoying, and I and then I hate them, but then they won the tag titles, and I'm like, why? And then after that. So they did. They did something that that caught my attention, and it made me realize these guys are actually good. You see, the wrestling matches they had were were good. They were good, but what really cap really uh, caught my attention is that they were funny. Comedy. Simple as that. If if you if wrestling matches are just not gonna cut it, like. Like individually, then you gotta add something with it, and comedy was with it, and that's what I like about the new day comedy. They're hilarious, they were hilarious, making fun of the cities, making fun of the music, uh, singing, and making fun of like Brooklyn, New York at SummerSlam last year. Save the tables, the Ooze the Lucha Booties, everything was hilarious. Until they fought the, the League of Nations and everything went downhill. Everything went downhill since. But I still stick with them. They came out Dragon Ball Z gear at WrestleMania 32. They they they, they still had my interest, man. They still did. And then... When it came to SummerSlam, I'm like, okay, finally, they're going to lose the tag team titles because they had it for so long. Nope. Nope. Keep that ball rolling. Keep that. Keep it going. New Day ain't losing yet. And if you think that they're going to lose it to, to these guys, Club uh, Anderson and Gallows, then you're fucking mistake. You're fucking mistaken, okay? It's not happening. They're not losing to the club. But what's going to happen is they're going to do the same thing what they did to Cesaro and Sheamus last week. They're going to screw them over. They're going to they're gonna distract one of them and capitalize and win. And then it's going to become a triple threat because the club and Cesaro and Sheamus are going to use what happened to them as evidence to get them a rematch in a way where it will benefit both teams. Maybe a number one contendership team, uh, uh, sorry, a, a tag team number one contendership for the tag team titles between Cesaro and Sheamus and the club. They might go at it and the New Day gets involved and it becomes a triple threat at Roadblock and etc. etc. So, yeah, that's what I think is going to happen. Um, I, I dare someone to disagree because I don't see any other way. They screwed over Cesaro and Sheamus and they're going to screw over the club tonight and then. Yeah. Then after Roblox, it's going to be a triple threat match for the tag team titles. You can't tell me I'm wrong because that's most likely going to happen. And if it doesn't, I don't know. Then who the fuck are they going to defend the tag titles against, huh? 
Enzo and Big Cass are feuding Rusev because Enzo walked around with a yellow, I don't know what the fuck he was wearing. They, they're trying to blur it out, but it's something yellow. And then walking up to Lana say, how you doing? While being, quote, naked. So, and, and R-Truth and Goldust, they got to go. And the Shining Stars, they got to go. So, I don't know who they're going to fight. All I'm, the, the new the tag team division is like the women's division. Same old shit. Sasha and, and Charlotte, New Day in the club, or New Day and uh, uh, Cesaro and Sheamus. And, and now it's going to be Charlotte versus Bailey, and then it's going to rotate again and again and again. Oh, my God. I can't take it. I can't take it. <sighs> and then I raw. All right, so they're not gonna lose the tag titles to the club. I'm I guarantee it because why would they, right? Unless the club was able to outsmart them somehow, I don't see them losing. But we'll see. Now I'm on cage side seats and I was something was brought to my attention that you know. That something could happen with the with the uh, universal title. Uh, I, was, I was watching a, a raw preview earlier today uh, from what from what culture, and they're saying how oh, what if they do a, a fatal four way? I'm like, oh. at first I was like, hmm, it's actually interesting. Why? Now I'm sitting there thinking, no, that should not happen. Why? None of these guys deserve a universal title shot, in my opinion. None. Not Jericho, not Rollins, or Reigns. What did they do to deserve a title shot? Okay, what did they do? Hmm? Can, can someone enlighten me here? Elaborate? Can someone tell me what did they do? No, no, they did nothing. Nothing. N finito. Nothing. They didn't do shit. They didn't do anything, okay? I'm not trying to be, or, or I'm not any. If I get a comment saying smart mark, I'm deleting it immediately because I am not taking that shit. Because this is not being a smart mark. This is a fact. Okay. I look at it like this: If you have done something impressive to gain the attention of of the people in charge plus the fans, then maybe, maybe. You could be in talks of getting a title shot. Or if you pin the champion himself, then maybe you could get a title shot, right? So, what did Jericho, Reigns, and Rollins do? Rollins had a title shot last week and he lost. Reigns hasn't done dick in months. Plus, he doesn't deserve it anyway because what has he done? He won the U.S. title. Yay. That's it. He hasn't done anything to, 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 like, he has beaten Kevin Owens in the past, but now we're moving on to Roblox. He beat Kevin Owens when it didn't matter. He beat Kevin Owens when Kevin Owens was feuding with Seth Rollins, when Rollins was uh, doing whatever it takes to screw over Kevin Owens, right? Jericho, he's just a comedy act. He's no longer the best in the world. People love him because he's a comedy act. I'm, look, I'm watching WWF Raw when he was the undisputed champion. And I'm also watching Raw of 09 when he was walking around in, 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 in deep voice. Talking to the crowd saying you narcissistic parasites. Oh you hypocrites. You know, shitting on the fans week after week. Now Jericho's walking around saying... You know, stupid idiot. I can't take Jericho seriously. Now, I'm going to be honest. When it comes to the Royal Rumble, I don't mind seeing Jericho win the, 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 the Royal Rumble and get a universal title shot because of the comedy. Because of the comedy of what he's done. That's what I think he deserves. But in reality, that's not what I should be thinking. I'm thinking, okay, because he makes me laugh, he should get a title shot. That that's that's what everyone else is thinking too. 
Don't bullshit me. That's a fact. Jericho has not done anything to get a title shot. Like I said, you got to beat the champion or do something impressive to catch the boss's attention and the fans' attention. Jericho worries about the list too much. And he's more important than the Universal Champion himself. Kevin Owens, all he's doing is saying, I'm your best friend. I'm the Universal Champion. And that's it. I want Kevin Owens' title reign to come to an end. So bad. I don't care who wins it. Just end it. I just can't take it anymore. I'm your best friend. You have a fucking title on your shoulder. That should you, that's what you should be caring about. Not about someone you shouldn't trust to begin with. Look at his track record. You kidding me? Jesus Christ. Edge went, I'll give you an example why you should not trust Jericho. Edge went down with the Achilles tendon injury in 2009, right? Edge was on the Titantron via satellite. Saying how he has to go through surgery and rehab and he's going to come back. Jericho comes out saying you're nothing more than a disgrace, a parasite, hypocrite, this and that. I carried the team. I carried the load while you did absolutely nothing. Right? He he dumped Edge. Like he, instead of being like, alright Edge, you know, you went down with an injury out of nowhere. Um, I hope you get better. No, 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 no. He shits on Edge for the rest of the year. Right? He he did it on the Slammy. He did it on the Slammy's where he's like, I like to think that I want to th- I want to thank that cripple forgotten Edge for going down with an injury so I can team up with the Big Show and become the greatest tag team of the year. So I don't know why Kevin Owens is like so blinded. Because Jericho is just hilarious. And because Jericho has his back then. But if Jericho has something that benefits him, you think he's going to be behind Kevin Owens anymore? Think about it. If anyone gets something that benefits them and not their friend, they're going to turn their back on him like that. Ask Triple H. Ask Shawn Michaels. Ask any tag team, the Hardys. Ask fucking... Undertaker and Kane ask any tag team you could think of they will they will they will tell you or they will do the same thing They'll turn your back on you for something else that benefits them And that's a fact I'm not lying. I'm not bullshitting. It's it's fact So What I'm trying to say is this who deserves a championship match? Not one of those three guys at all. But are they going to give Reigns the title match? Yeah, I see it coming anyway. I disagree with it 100%, but I see it coming anyway. Um, I see Roman Reigns be universal champion within next year, obviously. Everyone's going to be like, no, I don't want that. That You know what? Shut the fuck up. You know what's going to happen. You know it's going to happen. If he was able to win the WWE title three times in four to six months, you know he's going to win the Universal title within next year. So don't even try to bullshit me. Don't even try to give me no logical reason. He is going to do it regardless of what you think. It's going to happen. Just like Cena winning the title for the 16th and 17th time. It's going to happen. Get used to it. I'm already over it because I'm like, you know what? I, I, I'm I not even going to fight it. I'm not even going to be mad because it's not, I, I saw it coming. I already know what's happening. And everything else, I just don't give a fuck. Is Zane even going to be on the show? I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen tonight besides the tag team, the women's title, and the universal championship scene. Besides that, I could care less about everything else. So, there you go. There's your Monday Night Raw preview. My thoughts on what can happen tonight. We're going to see pointless matches. Uh, uh, hopefully, uh, uh, not a title, cha- uh, title change. And maybe a title change in the tag team. I don't know. I just hope something positive happens in the end. I don't want to come on here and just rant and rage and say, fuck this show. And then actually be a point. Be to a point where I'm like, I'm not even going to watch it. I don't. 
I've been with, I've been watching the show for seven years straight. I'm not looking to stop now. So leave your comments and leave your comments down below what you guys will think. What you guys think of what will happen on tonight's show on Monday Night Raw. Leave your th comments below. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe now for more if you if you like my content. Period. Simple as that. And Follow me on Twitter at Boy13Gym. I'll be tweeting while the show's going on. And hopefully I will not be raging in my raw review later on tonight. And I'm out. Uh, later.